What is the deal, beautiful people? My name is Ramon, welcome back to the channel. And on this channel, we talk about any and everything photography. Today's topic is diving deep into black and white photography. This was, I, I don't do New Year's resolutions, but this was my only New Year's resolution. Uh, pretty much any image I'm taking or have taken or will be taking for 2020 is going to be for the purpose of black and white. The end result must be black and white. And I say that in a very particular way on purpose. We'll get to that. Uh, I ran across, I forgot where I heard this phrase. Oh man, it might've been like an Anna Wintour, Wintour masterclass or some shit like that. Uh, but the, the conversation about black and white came up and uh, the person who was given the keynote or the speech or whatever it is where I heard it, they said something super interesting to me. They said when they were coming up in, in photography school, the the consensus was always, or the, the direction was always, black and white was for art and color was for documenting. And I thought that was super interesting to hear. And they were talking about film photography at the time. And it, it just sort of stuck with me, black and white for art and color for documenting. And then I started to pay attention to a lot, a lot of what was going on around me. And I guess I could see it, right? Like a lot of abstract things that I was drawn to were more uh, or most, most often in black and white. So I, I could see where that train of thought was uh it had some credibility now i'm not saying that's the norm today it's just something i held on to and i wanted to really investigate it so here i am and one one of the things about diving into black and white photography for me it really helps me uh, it takes one thing off of my plate and i'm talking about obsessive post processing right i mean i don't suffer from the the beginning, the, the beginner Photoshop thing I used to have years ago, where it was, you, you, you thought, even though you took, you took a shitty image, you could fix it in Photoshop. I don't quite think like that anymore. And then I, you know, this is probably like five or six years ago. I spent a lot of time really dialing in composition and storytelling, uh, to the fact where I didn't, I don't run up against that anymore, but I still did get lost in the sauce learning about uh, color grading and and learning about curves and luminosity and, and, and smoothing out skin and all of this crazy shit. And it's a lot. It really is a lot to the fact where are you even still a photographer? You know, because when you look at professional photographers or photographers that we consider that made it, they don't do any of their post-processing shit. They just take the picture. You know, they they get the talent how they want it or whatever it is, snap the picture and somebody else edits that. But here on this this low level of nobodyism, we sort of do all of these things at once. And, and the post processing, uh, unlike a lot of people, I don't quite enjoy it as much as I used to. I'd rather be out shooting, uh, but it can be fun. Well, hey, hey, I'll rather be out shooting. So for me, going into black and white took post-processing really off of the plate. And I'm not saying I don't post-process on images. I'm just, I don't care about color grading and I don't care about fine tuning contrast and all of this crazy shit. I, it doesn't matter to me anymore. So literally what it did for me, making a decision to shoot for black and white, I'm laser focused on, on three things and not five. One is storytelling, two is composition and three, is where's the light? That's it. I don't care about I don't care about the, the the tones and will people will this catch someone's eye when it's scrolling down a feed like uh, fuck all that. That's out the window now. So I'm really happy where black and white has got me. Like and and the last of those three is super interesting and very, very difficult. I mean photography is all about light, right? And when you're forced to, to identify the light in the scene, it gets pretty interesting. And it's pretty hard to do, I gotta tell you. And uh, 
I've struggled with it quite a bit, and I think I'm I'm on the tail end of coming out of that struggle where I can recognize light. And now that I can recognize light a lot faster and better, I can think I can think on a more optimal level of where my subject is supposed to be or how to how to maneuver or manipulate the subject to further the storytelling or, or strengthen the composition. So I'm quite happy with the black and white decision. Uh, but there's, there's one thing that I think above all, uh, going back to the very beginning of the video when I said what I said particularly, the key to having really strong black and white images are having good color. <laughs> it does sound super counterintuitive, but... Um, I still do shoot for quite a bit of color. I still need to keep it in the back of my mind because generally I find the stronger the color in the image, the stronger the black and white in the, in the, in the, the end result. So, you know, I, I can say this is something that everyone should undertake at some point and to help me on all of my cameras, actually. What I did was put the viewfinder in a black and white mode so that I see, I can see the color. I'm sorry, I can see black and white as I'm taking the shot. But when I get the raw into Lightroom, I still tweak a lot of the colors to make sure like the reds, the browns, the cyan sort of pop. And then when I go back into, to, I go into Photoshop, do my black and white thing. And when I bring it back into Lightroom, then I'll go through the, the black and white curves individually and, and, and tweak and adjust. It can be a bit of a process, but I really do love the way the images come out. And I, I do love the, I do love to be able to shoot black and white real time as I see it. Uh, it's kind of a very dope effect because you're seeing the image in, in real time in color. But then when you look in the viewfinder, it's this whole other world. So yeah, that's where I am today. Uh, and I would like to know your your uh, your perspective on this. Have you ever undertaken something like this, just strictly black and white? Let me know your results. Are you thinking about it? Leave a comment, maybe I can help you. I can share some tips. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Again, my name is Ramon and I am out of here. Peace.